Hey, it's the Droid Guy here, and we've had our HTC Inspire 4G for a while now, and we really like this phone. It goes on sale for $99.99. One of the things that we like is the new version of HTC Sense. Not only do you get really cool HTC Sense widgets, which by the way is the, our favorite manufacturer UI, but you also get access to htcsense.com which keeps all your data in the clouds and also it's got a new newsreader now if you're familiar with HTC Sense 1 it aggregates some great feeds some suggested stuff but this one in the newest version of HTC Sense actually allows you to customize your reader content like it should be right as you can see we uh, it might be a little too blurry but you can see we have Timo News TechCrunch don't hate the geek. We have Droid Life in here. There it is, Droid Life. These are custom from our G Reader application or our Google Reader application. You know, they're not the ones that's actually HTC Sense suggested. Now we subscribe to over 144 feeds, but we put about 10 of the ones that we read the most into the news client. It's really easy to set up. All you got to do is click this button right here. And once you click that button, it has access to everything that you get on your RSS reader, like for Google Reader or, or whatever one you use. Here you can see all the different feeds that we get. And, you know, if we want to add one to that news screen, like let's add Phone Arena. Phone Arena will now come into our news reader in the news feed on HTC Sense. It comes preloaded with AT&T Family Maps, AT&T Code Scanner, AT&T Navigator. We like... Google Maps better and it actually looks great on this 4.3 inch screen. With the 8 megapixel camera, it takes really rich pictures, and with the awesome display, they look really great. Friendstream, another great widget for HTC Sense, gives you quick access to your Facebook, Twitter, and Flickr Friendstream. Here's your HTC Mail if you want to incorporate your Pop3 or IMAP. Instead of going through Gmail, you have HTC Mail here, which we actually don't do. There you have access to your favorites and some quick widgets for turning things on and off, which really come in handy. Here's some other new things about the HTC Inspire 4G. First off, the battery stored right there, and the SD card and SIM card are right here. So you don't have to disrupt the battery to change out the SIM card. Now, I wouldn't suggest hot swapping, but definitely it uh, separates the battery from the SIM card. The downside to this is that you're not going to be able to get, you know, one of those thicker extra life extended batteries that'll fit in this slot. Also rounding out the back is your 8 megapixel camera with a dual flash and a sensor right there. It's AT&T and it's on 4G and in this case they're talking about 4G HSPA Plus which is the first part of their 4G rollout. The second part, LTE, is supposed to come during the summertime with a few more phones, including the new one by Samsung. On a scale of 1 to 5, we'd give this phone a 5 stars for the hardware. It looks great. The 4.3 inch screen is great. It's a zippy phone. The processor's fast. I like how they moved the SIM card to be away from the battery. I don't like how you can't add an extended life battery. And to be honest with you, we tested AT&T's 4G in about 8 major cities last week, and it didn't stack up to everybody else's. So hopefully we'll see an improvement on that but for right now this is a really solid phone even on AT&T's 4G it's going to be faster than their 3G and if you want to stay with AT&T we applaud that they're getting recommitted to Android and the HTC Inspire 4G is an awesome piece of hardware I'm the Droid Guy thanks for watching